Howdy everybody, Gomer here, uh, just doing a driving vlog because uh, this is about the only time I seem to have to be able to do one right now. <laughs> uh, uh, but I do want to make an announcement uh, while I'm doing this. Hopefully you guys are hearing me okay over like the AC and everything. But, um, but yeah, soon I'm going to be starting a new series of uh, vlogs similar to the vein of uh, the Walker Brothers doing like the Steven Universe vlogs and the Gravity Falls vlogs. Uh, except mine is going to be on the now uh, now cancelled uh, soap opera Port Charles, uh, which is a spinoff of General Hospital. Uh, I wanted to do something like this, um, like outside of the Port Charlie podcast, but it's like I'm not sure what. Um, I mean, I'll, I I mean I know I have like some characters that are either no longer on the show or about to be no longer on the show that I want to do, but uh, I kind of want to go over like a full series, and Port Charles seems. To you know, to work out right up my alley. Uh, plus, it's easier to find those episodes on YouTube. <laughs> uh, I know there's like this one channel that has up to like, uh, I want to say May 2000 or something like that. Uh, 99, 2000, something like that. Um, but at any rate, um, but I'm going to go, I'm debating on how I want to schedule them. Uh, like, do I want to do like weekly? Do I want to do it daily and cover each episode? Because you know, each episode is like 30 minutes. Um, so it may not be too long of a vlog process, but then again, <laughs> you know, you see the Walker Brothers do more than, you know, do a vlog that takes longer than to watch a Steven Universe episode. So, you know, that, there's, there's definitely a discussion potential there. Um, but I, I do know that for the first, like the actual first pilot episode, um, it, it's like a 90 minute pilot. Uh, that's going to be a standalone, and then after that, I'll decide whether I want to do it daily or weekly. Uh, if, I, if I go weekly, then obviously it's going to cover like the next particular week. Like, uh, like it premiered on Ju June first, nineteen ninety-seven, and then and then like they had like second through whatever that Friday was, uh, right after it. So that's so if I was to do weekly, that'd be two videos. Um, and, and all of that stuff. I'll, I'll decide. I'll, I'll, I'll help decide. I'll decide. And you know what? How you can help decide? Um, leave me a comment. See which which one you think would work best. Uh, which one would you most likely want to see? You know, pass this around. I, I, I need some feedback because <laughs> uh, I really do want to do this, and I want to make sure it's uh, the best for you know to, to entertain and, and inform and just just have that open communication with everybody. I really should do more vlogs, honestly, but. Not necessarily driving ones, because <laughs> uh, even even with my stronger voice, doing this on the GoPro, the microphone is a bit hidden and muffled, um, and I got somebody trying to ride my ass too. It looks like, uh, but at any rate, um, there's that. That's the big announcement. The other one, uh, as far as Let's Play videos, uh, once Star Tropics ends, I'll go straight into Star Tropics two. Uh, that should be within. I think that should start in July. If I have everything ready by that time, uh, DuckTales Remastered should finish up in July as well. Um, also, fuck UMG, uh, as reasons that I state in, uh, I want to say starting in episode, do it through uh, episodes four and five of DuckTales Remastered. <laughs> uh, fuck those guys. And, and if and if you know what I'm talking about, you can feel my pain. I'm sure. Um, uh, after that, hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to start on something like Saints Row 4. I've been kind of talking it up, and, and even on the Emporium, there's actually a spot for it. Um, I just need to... I'm honestly just waiting for the title card to get done. Uh, the, my title card artist, uh, my girlfriend Becky, she's, she's been kind of busy uh, with her own comic and, and freelance work and everything. And the reason why you know I'm waiting for her to get done is I don't want to rush her. I really don't. <laughs> Uh, you know, I told her outright, you know what, your comic and, and, and money comes first for this one, okay? You know, because she, she does the title cards for me out of the goodness of her heart. And I love her dearly for it. So, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, like, push and push me like, hey, you need to have this done. No. In fact, I kind of get guilty every time I remind her. Uh, but, you know, she, you know, that's how we, that's how we work. Um, but the title cards for, like, all of the retro stuff, that's all mine. Um, I, you know, I put them all together because I can deal with, like, old sprites. NES, Super NES. I, I can deal with those rather easily. Um, it, it's the later ones where you kind of want to have better artwork for it or what have you. <laughs> that's, that's where I need to, to, uh, 
need a little bit of help. And that's where Becky comes in. A uh, little, little background info on, on my title card processes. <laughs> well, I should say ours, because, you know, it's not just her and it's not just me. We're kind of a team on that. Uh, but speaking of retro games, um, like I said, Star Tropics 2 should start next month. Uh, or at least start releasing to you guys next month. And I also want to try and do uh, one other game. I'm debating on which other retro NES, well, definitely NES game that I want to do alongside Star Tropics 2. Because I want to try and have a Let's Play video every weekday. And then the weekends can be just whatever, you know. Uh, podcasts, the reason why you're not seeing podcasts on the channel, if you're curious, uh, I've taken them back to audio only for now. Because uh, past few times, every time I tried to do a video version, something would fuck up. You would have rah, 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 rah. The audio would be gone or, or what have you. And we, we just can't have that. Um, so that, that cannot be happening. Uh, so I just kept it to audio only. Uh, so far, only once has it really been an issue. Uh, it, it could just be my software on that one. Plus, having it audio only, it gets them up quicker. It gets them up to my patrons quicker. And, you know... And, and, and everybody can just easily grab it off of iTunes. So instead of having to go through YouTube and just go through all of that, um, the video the video versions of the episodes that have been played, they'll still be there. So they're not going away. Um, oh, what else is there? What else is there? Um, speaking of Patreon, I, I, I brought that up. Uh, Becky and I both have both have Patreons. Uh, mine is at patreon.com slash gomer one double x and hers is at patreon.com slash beckyhop. Uh, for me, personally, if you if you throw money at me, and mine is a uh, per-production uh, thing, so if I slack off for an entire month, you don't get charged. On the other hand, if I overdo it, and you don't have a limit on it, you could be charged quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, uh, a guy I know, uh, he, was, he was a patron of mine for a while, and he forgot to set his limit, and it was like, oops. Uh, but, you know, lesson, lesson learned, no hard feelings from him. Um, definitely none from me. <laughs> but, you know, and, and it, was, it was all well and good. Um, but, yeah, you know, make sure your limits are set. And, and this goes for anybody who, who uh, pledges through Patreon. Um, the, the reason why I do push Patreon is ad revenue doesn't pay me shit. I, don't have, I simply don't have the views for it. But I do want to keep this going. I do want to keep doing things. And at, at the very least... I, I'm not looking to be like, you know, fucking PewDiePie or anything in terms of income. Uh, and I'm pretty sure he wasn't looking at that when he started either, to be fair. Um, you know, I would just, I would like to be able to be big enough. And I, when I say big enough, I mean bring in enough through doing these um, to where I can just support myself. You know, middle, you know, middle class, I, I say middle class, uh, support myself. Um, you know, doing what I love. I like doing these videos. I like doing uh, the podcasts. I like doing the Let's Plays. Um, and the more I do it, the more I really do enjoy it. Uh, let's It lets me set my own schedule, which is really nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, I push Patreon because that, that has so far been better for me in terms of you know, getting something out of it and in terms of money. And... And I, and I know, maybe it, it does seem like I, I, it's like, oh, you're begging for money. Eh, maybe a little. But at the same time, what I do in return is I give you things like, you know, early access. If you pledge enough, you know, you can like, you know, you'll have higher priorities when requesting like games I could play or, or even advertising space on my website. You know, that sort of thing. Um, and it's all for relatively cheap, too. So I probably have the best advertising price out of everybody in my group. <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, those. But Patreon is for those who really like my stuff and they want to uh, help contribute directly uh, instead of just hitting a like button and hoping others see it and like it and all of that stuff too. Uh, which is don't get me wrong, liking the video, subscribing, and sharing it and everything. That's that. That is all good. Uh, the more people who see it, the more people who might enjoy it. The more people who might enjoy it, the more people who might be inclined to, you know, pledge to Patreon. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you yeah, know, some people are like, oh, it's e-begging, it's e-begging. Yeah, maybe a little, you know. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to deny it. <laughs> but at the same time, you know, it's it's one of those things. I'm getting up to an age where 
it's it's hard for me to find a job you know regardless of this economy it's hard for me to find some kind of day work um, so I need and I need something and I honestly you know if I can make enough of a living to support myself by just you know by doing these videos then you know what that would mean the world to me it really would and if you guys want to help me in that direction then that's where you go to patreon <laughs> if, if you want to do it directly I, I should say um, and if not you know just at the very least share it if you like it please share it you know you don't have to hit the like button you don't even have to subscribe if you don't want to you just share it around spread it around because you know the more eyeballs looking at this the better I say um, well, that's but that's me. Uh, um, Becky's Patreon. You know, if you, you can get some artwork from her. She also animates. Uh, she's an award-winning animator. Uh, if you pledge, I think it's like a hundred bucks to her. Uh, you should be able to get like a thirty-second animation, and it, and it's really cool. She's like, it's all really cute. <laughs> um, but you know, I think she also did one. I think uh, Focus on the Frames also has some animation by her. So it's really really great um, uh, and of course you know it also helps her uh, with her comic uh, otherworldly which you really should go and check out uh, the link is going to be down in the doobly doobly dooby doo, -doo, -doo. yeah slow down okay um, yeah that's what I get for doing this while driving <laughs> uh, but yeah links gonna be down in the doobly doo for her webcomic because it's not as simple as simply otherworldly.com. Although, if enough people throw money at her Patreon, maybe she could get that. <laughs> uh, and, and, and of course, that would also make her very happy, which would make me happy. So, uh, But anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, again, Port Charlie Vlogs will be coming up soon. Um, Star Tropics 2 starts next month. Hopefully, Saints Row 4 starts next month. It's going to depend on Becky. Um, oh! Oh, and uh, one of the games I am going to be starting uh, probably in July, if I don't start it this month, uh, I'm actually going to be starting a run of Earthbound um, in, in, mem in memory of uh, Satoru Iwata. Because, as, you know, everybody knows now, you know, he basically single-handedly saved that game. And I've never played through it. I, I really should. I've been told I really should play through that and through the other Mother games as well. So I've played, like, a f like the first few minutes of Earthbound, but never really went through it. Um... So yeah, again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, keep an eye out for all these things that I've mentioned. And until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off. <laughs>